the Carolina Reaper, the spiciest pepper in the world. This pepper is not natural, and it was engineered by this man, Ed Curry. Ed Curry refers to this pepper as a beautiful fruit that has a demon hiding inside it. It's not like Ed Curry got lucky and all of a sudden created the hottest pepper. He has been messing with peppers since the year 1981, and his ultimate goal was to get hotter and hotter. His work basically consists of him working inside a greenhouse and making the pepper more spicy. And then eventually it gets so spicy that it becomes the spiciest pepper in the world. And he actually reached that. Of course, Ed Curry knows what type of material inside the pepper makes it spicy. A chemical called capsaicin. Every pepper has capsaicin in it. And the more it has, the spicier the pepper is. If you've seen our video about cayenne pepper, you'll know that it has capsaicin in it and it's very good for you. But it has a very low amount compared to other spicy things. In some peppers, you can barely see it and that is why it's sweet. But Ed Curry's goal was to raise this capsaicin level in every pepper to see how high he can reach. Just like we said, Ed Curry has been doing this since 1980 and that is why he's very well known at least in the pepper department and people that are in love with spicy foods. Since he was well known about pepper growing, people around the world would send him spicy peppers to try out and maybe use it to make a pepper hybrid. He said in the year 2012, somebody sent him a pepper from Pakistan and he also received the pepper from one of his friends that was visiting the St. Vincent Islands in the Caribbean. The pepper that was sent to him from Pakistan was this one, a pepper called Naga, which is very spicy. Ed Curry mixes these two peppers together and gets Carolina Reaper. When this pepper comes to life and he eats it and tests it out, it very quickly becomes the spiciest pepper in the world. The way they measure spiciness in pepper or anything, it's called the Scoville scale, or in short terms, SHU. The number you get, the higher it gets, the spicier it is. Like peppers that are not spicy and are considered sweet are under 3000 SHU. When you go above 3000, that's when you start to feel the spiciness. Like jalapeno, which is not that spicy, is over 5000 SHU. Thai chili, which is a very spicy pepper, is 100,000 SHU. The next pepper that's spicy is a pepper from the Amazon called the habanero. And the Scoville for this is 350,000. Up next, we have a very famous pepper that you might know about that comes from India. It's called the ghost pepper. And it really is a ghost pepper because it sneaks up on you and terrifies you. The ghost pepper has 1 million SHU. The ghost pepper was considered the spiciest pepper in the world. But when Carolina Reaper came around, it blew it out of the park. Carolina Reaper is two and a half times spicier than the ghost pepper. And that means the Scoville units is 2.5 million. Just like we said, it's the capsaicin level of the pepper that brings it up and down. Like for example, you could eat 10 habanero peppers and you will get the same effect as one little Carolina Reaper. It's all based on the capsaicin level that's entering your mouth. So if you eat all these 10 at once, you will get the same feeling as one of these. If you wanna compare it to jalapeno, you have to eat 600 jalapenos at once to get the same feeling as the Carolina Reaper. What's the point of these spicy peppers? Why would you want to suffer this much for no reason? Ed Curry is a very unusual person. Not only does he produce these peppers, but he loves them and actually enjoys eating them. If there is a test for eating Carolina Reapers at once, Ed Curry would probably blow everyone out of the park. Ed Curry loved spicy food from the very beginning, and he ate so much and got so spicy that he got used to it. Ed Curry didn't even start doing this because of money or to be successful or famous. He truly, genuinely loved spicy peppers. He even has a goal to make a Carolina Reaper that's even more spicy. You could compare what Ed Curry does to plants with peppers to what people do with dogs. 
As you know, there are a plenty of different types of breeds of dog. And this was all started by the British about 200 years ago. Because before then, there was only a few versions of dog. Ed Curry is doing the same thing with peppers. He mixes different types of peppers with each other and creates a whole new bag. You could kind of say he's creating hybrids of different peppers. Throughout his career, he has created 600 different peppers. Peppers that didn't exist before he did them. Just like the way you breed animals together, he breeds different plants together so they can have different peppers on them. Someone that does this with plants, they have to be extremely patient because it's much harder and slower to do with plants than animal. It might work one time, then you gotta wait another year to try again or it might not work and ruin your whole plant. But you have to be patient to continue trying. Ed Curry always said that he loves spicy food and when he would eat it, he always tries to make it even more spicy. He consider himself an addict, an addict to hot food. If he doesn't eat anything spicy in a day, he's gonna feel let down or drowsy. So he always has to have something spicy with his food. It's a form of addiction itself. You really can't find Ed Curry anywhere in the world because he likes to enjoy this type of pepper by itself and the burning sensation he feels gives him something special and he's addicted to that feeling alone. This is no joke. Even people that are used to spicy food can't even handle a bite of this pepper. Ed Curry did this for more than 30 years, but he did it for his own enjoyment until his wife told him to start a business out of it. And then because of what his wife told him, he actually listened and started his own brand. And since Carolina Reaper is the spiciest pepper in the world and it has a lot of clout behind it, his business was immediately successful. He even produced spicy sauces with the Carolina Reaper and sells them too. If you open a Carolina Reaper with your bare hands, it will burn your hand because the capsaicin level is so high that it will enter your bloodstream and start burning your hand instead of your tongue. And that is why people that work with the Carolina Reaper have to wear thick gloves. If you touch this pepper and touch your eye after, you're gonna have a hard time seeing in the future. What would happen to you and I if we ate a Carolina Reaper? Our hands will start shaking, our heart rate would raise, our body would get so warm that we'd start sweating, water will start coming down your eyes, your mouth is on fire, and water is coming down your nose after. It will be terrible for about 20 minutes. And after that, the pain will be turned into your stomach. But it's not gonna burn your stomach, it will turn into a stomach ache. The stomach ache will last about two to five hours depending on what you ate or how empty your stomach is. So in about five hours, the pain will go away in your stomach. And then when it's time to go to the bathroom, the pain and burning sensation will start over again. And it's over when the devil leaves your body. How much is the Carolina Reaper pepper anyways? You could buy it online and it has an average price of a dollar each. But it's good to not eat peppers like this. It's only good for challenges to have some fun with your friends but not actually eat it for fun.